Rogan did grill him a bit when it came to pushing vaccines and general health and diet and vitamins and everything else, because Rogan was, to his credit, always somewhat skeptical about all of this stuff. Do you take care of your immune system in other ways? Do you take probiotics? Are you cautious about your diet? Um, I'm not as cautious about my diet as I should be. I'm a junk foodaholic, uh, actually. Well, that seems like a terrible thing for your health. It, it is a terrible thing for my health and something my wife is uh, working on. But that seems basis. ridiculous for someone who works with health. Yeah. Yeah. What's sometimes, going on with you, man? Sometimes, man, I just don't sometimes. get it right. <laughs> How often? What? How often? How often do I steal a bag of chips or something like that? How often like do you that? eat garbage? Uh, I don't day? know. No, no, hopefully not every day. But, you know, hopefully so, not every day. Yeah, maybe a couple of times a week. Oh. Know. That's what with, with Rachel, my, uh, my daughter with autism, that's like our thing is to go to the uh, – it's called the burger joint or to um, Shake Shack to get, mm -hmm. a, to get a cheeseburger. We'll sneak, sneak some fries. So. Mm. so you – Live in large, we call it. Like that mouth pleasure so much, you're willing to sacrifice a little bit. Of I health. am, yeah. I, you know, I, you know, I, I can, I have to concede that's the case. Well, there's, I mean, I don't have to tell you, but there's a, a large body of data that connects poor diet to a host of diseases. Mm -hmm. That seems like a t crazy decision for a guy in your line of work. There you go. Sometimes the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the, it's not all brain. It's. Uh, it, it's something else. But, I mean, if you ate healthy food, I mean, you, the thing is your body starts craving healthy food. You start feeling Yeah, no, no question. Results. No question about it. Do you take vitamins? I don't take vitamins. Really? Yeah. I don't, wow. I don't think they do. I don't think they're needed. Because most in the, Amer in the American— in the American, Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You don't think they're needed while you're eating junk food? Well, you know, think, hopefully I'm not only eating junk food, okay, right? but you know there's a large body of clinical mm -hmm. research on the efficacy of vitamins, mm -hmm. especially vitamins D, vitamins I, B. I have taken stuff. vitamin D for periods for and periods. the recommendation of my internist. Yeah. Yeah. What about essential fatty acids, which mm -hmm. are great for your brain, fish oil, uh, all these different things that are fantastic uh, I'm, for I'm not gonna ar I'm not going to argue with you. What you is got, going you, on you, with you, you doctor? Got, you got it, hand, you got, on, you got it over me. Yeah. You gotta yeah. sw listen, but it would you would have a much better argument, don't you think? You're, you're, you're making my wife stay here. So. If you're taking care of yourself a hundred percent instead of but you just still need, but you still need your vaccines. I'm sure you do, but mm -hmm. vaccines aren't going to prevent cancer. No, that's true. Right, that's and true. You, there's a lot of diseases or that, diabetes or cardiovascular sure. disease. Or and a lot of these diseases yeah. are connected directly to diet. Right. Yeah. 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 Come on. Man. And other lifestyle ch changes. Yeah. Got to get your exercise. Said, you run. Yeah. Do you? Not very well, but no. Uh, but you do. Okay. Yeah. We gotta get yeah. you healthy, buddy. Yeah. Can't be pushing only chemicals in injectable forms to facilitate health. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair. Not chemicals. They're vaccines. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's in them? What? It's not, I mean, it's some sort of chemical. No. No, they're antigens, right? They're right. they're. What's they're the fluid? Mac macromolecules. What's the liquid stuff? Uh, typically, it would be saline or you know salt water. And All right. Okay, so I thought that was just like an interesting moment to frame some of this. Like, you, there you have a doctor who's, whatever, he's a little overweight. Okay, so be it. But he's basically telling you he's addicted to junk food and he doesn't take vitamins. But here he is on these shows, and believe me, he was all over MSNBC and CNN and all the usual suspects for three years, basically pushing vaccines on people. And remember, remember all that time during COVID, why we kept asking, why, why are they not having more nutritionists on? Why are they not having more fitness experts on?